Good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's training. Let me just have a look on Facebook to make sure I am in the right page. As you know, what I'm like, I probably get the wrong one. Let's just double check. I am in the wrong uh -huh, there we are. I am in. So I'm just going to bob that in. Uh -huh, there we are. Just in case there are any questions. So I'm not going to hang about. But first of all, my granddaughter wants to come and say hello. Come on quickly. Otherwise, she'll be sat behind me going, rah, rah, rah. Mm. Do you want to come and say hello to everybody in Eagles team? Hello, Eagles team. <laughs> okay. Off you pop. So um, we're at a different venue this evening. We're at my daughter's. Um, so let's get started. So let me tell you, I am here to burst your bubble. So for seven years, I've been trying to build my network marketing business only to find out a couple of months ago that exactly what I've been being told by people it's not been building my business the way I wanted it to go. So I am assistant manager and I have worked super hard to get where I am. But what I have found now through proper training is that it's a lot about marketing. It's not a lot about sending messages to everybody and being spam, spam, spam. It's about learning to do these things. So that is why this evening I have done this with well I'm doing this with you now um for your ideal client because let me tell you it is only two weeks ago that I actually worked out my ideal client that is crazy to think that I've been in the business seven years and I didn't know my ideal client no darling hey everybody if you want to come on if you want to go in the chats on here, you'll just have to um, allow StreamYard to get your name, then I know who's there. But I can see that Maria's on, Andrew's on, and Katie Louise is on. So amazing to have you here. Let me get back. So ideal client, be honest in the comments, guys. Do you know 100% who your ideal client is? I'll just see if anybody pops in. If you do, I'll answer it in a minute because I didn't. I was reaching out to mums, to women, to um, salon owners because I've been a beautician for a long time. And I just wasn't getting the kind of reach that I needed. But I still kept going because that was what I was told um, in the last group that I was in, just keep going, keep going, it will be okay, everything will go all right. And it hasn't done. I mean, to say that I I was frustrated um, was an understatement because I just didn't know what I was doing right and what I was doing wrong. Yes, you can colour that in. Sorry, guys. So let's have a look. Ideal client. Who is it that you want to work with? So you really need to narrow this down. You know, do you want to work with all women do you want to work with all mums because let me tell you a tiny little bit the way that you talk to a mum who has just had a baby and is wanting to build a business around having a baby is completely different to how you would speak to a mum whose children have grown up and left home so you've really really got to take a look at how you're going to grow your business. Okay. So um, last week I gave you all some homework. I hope that you've done it. If you haven't, that's okay. It is your business, so you can do what you want. So tonight, as I said, we're talking about ideal client. And something that I learned in the training was if you're talking to everyone, you are talking to no one. So basically, if you are super vague, and you're trying to reach out to everybody, you're actually reaching out to nobody. And that is not going to work. Okay, because you've not niched down. Now, I could never work out what is my niche? What is my niche? Who am I? Who am I going for? You know, and I realized, like the penny dropped, I was looking for people like me, I wanted to work with me. Now I'm hardworking. I never ever quit. I will learn, I will do, and I will keep going until I get that result. And that is what I wanted to work with. I wanted to work with women and younger, I don't mind, but I specifically now reach out to women over the age of 40. 
And our conversations are really, really good. They're interactive. They're amazing. I know I'm nearly 50, granddaughter reminder. No, not yet. I'm not. So that's what I want you to look at. So who are you looking for? Who do you want to get into the business? Are you a mum and you want to help other mums? Are you uh, not a mum, but you love going to the gym? So do you want to reach out to people like you who go to the gym? It's as simple as that. All you've got to do is look at who you are and then niche it right down because they have different pain points, okay? So um, somebody that goes to the gym all the time um, might not struggle with lack of time, but might struggle with lack of energy. So does that make sense to you? you really, really got to niche it down. Really, really. Hi, Cherry. Hi, Lachey. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Hopefully. So yeah, that is what we need to do. We need to niche it down to exactly who it is that we're going to reach out to. Don't get me wrong. I had a girl today that messaged me on my LinkedIn. Uh, she's probably about 25. And she said, she said that, you know, she was looking for an extra income and would I be able to show <laughs> some information? So I said, yep, yeah, not a problem. I've shown her some information, but the way I've spoke to her is different because it's obviously not a lady that's over 40. So I don't know whether any of you guys use this, but I am going to tell you. I will put the link into our chat and it is called Chat G P T. So if you say it fast, it's chat, chat gibberty. Now, in chat gibberty, you will be able to get lots of information from them. So you need to put into this. So I have a business. I help mums um, get to not have to go back after um, mat leave. You need to put that in. You want to know who your ideal client is, who it is and what they need, what their pain points are. And ChatGPT will come up with a great list for you. The more you put in there, the more that ChatGPT will give you back, okay? So I will write the link in here so that you can see um, exactly what I use. So ChatGPT, I have a business that does this. I need to look a little bit deeper on my ideal client and tell me what they want what are their pain points so if you want to pop in the comments who you are reaching out to if you've had a light bulb moment if you do know your ideal client and if you're actually reaching out to just your ideal client because what i'm going to be teaching you in eagles team everything that i'm learning um regarding marketing in our business just one minute freya please just one minute okay um and that is what we need to be doing. So niche down, guys. Have a look at who you really want to work with. So um, I'm getting distracted completely here because they're in and out like yo-yos. This is not good. I'm actually here because I'm watching the little ones that are in bed because my grandson has football and this one that is not. So please excuse excuse me oh my god i've completely lost my uh train of thought completely so that is it so like i said for seven years i had been reaching out the same way and not don't get me wrong i'm assistant manager so i have had like results but not the results that i should have had for the work that i was doing then at the end of january i removed myself while well, i was removed from a group and decided that i was going to go all in training with m and she gave me this group to try and bring back to life. And I know Jamila is going to be working, bringing it back to life as well. So we really are going to be sticking some good content in here for you guys. But let me tell you, I've been doing my ideal client now for two weeks and it is crazy. My content is on point. I know exactly what I want to talk about. Go and have a look at some of my reels. They are changing dramatically. I've just done one with the kids when they say... Um, they say you can build this round your children, but actually the best content is when you've got them there. It, I, I know what I'm doing now. I know who I'm reaching out to. I know how I'm wanting to talk. Today, I have took about eight people around the business cycle. We're having a call tomorrow. So this niching down to exactly who it is that we want to reach is absolutely worth 
everything. So homework, because I'm not going to keep you much longer, guys. You can ask any questions that you want. Just either pop them in a chat or you could ask him here. Um, but I want you to really look at niching down. You're not... I thought that there wasn't going to be that many people over 40. If I left it as all women, there'd be millions in the world, wouldn't there? But actually, I was talking to nobody. What's the saying? If you're talking to everyone, you're actually talking to no one. Because my audience don't know what I'm doing because I was here, there, and everywhere. So niche down, guys. I hope this video has helped. I hope you've got something from it. And next Tuesday, I will be going live again with a little bit more information for you on something else. If there is something that you're struggling with in your business, feel free to reach out or, you know, pop a, a message in here to me and I will do my best to get that answered for you. So have an amazing evening. Thank you for putting up with me. It has been short and sweet, but I am so distracted right now. Have an amazing evening, guys. Take care.